and we're back Johnny here and strap yourself in because today we got a rocket design episode we're gonna go in and create a new awesome design with the new rocket parts we unlocked so what we had before the trilander was something that worked fine and we had like a trilateral upper stage um, just to help with stability when landing so I think we might do something similar but of course we're just gonna create something new here I'm just gonna go and um, yeah we're gonna use the new command pod that we have this one is cool but it only has one crew capacity and we want three so I'm gonna use this and oh, well, what do we call it though do we call it the um, hmm. we already have like a SpaceX craft we might want to call it just like SpaceX mark 2 and then we're just gonna pack the usual stuff here gonna have a parachute on top and let's get started with this so we probably want a payload so we have the new service bay which has a lot of space in it so what do we want in here we probably want our batteries to go in here dude it's so big <laughs> oh god we can fit like endless batteries in here I think we're gonna make it like shiny as well like a lot of lights so let's just go crazy here let's go crazy okay so we've got a whole stack of batteries like 1150 electric power and the other things we want to pack are probably some science instruments so where is it? okay so we go here and we do like not okay like that mm, I'm just thinking because we can reset experiments we don't really need multiples of these right so we can just put like one of this uh, instrument in there and then we we do like the other instrumentation can be just next to it it's fine like so All right let's remove the snap thing so we have a little bit more freedom on where to place things I wish it didn't change the orientation when I move things honestly okay cool and then we have a seismic thingy um, again would be nice if you could actually orientate it in a reasonable way like can you okay there you go cool so this way we have everything on one side and then on the other side we could just have some science containers so these things you can actually store your science experiments on them why, why doesn't it why doesn't it like it why doesn't it like it I mean what is the problem there talk to me okay I'm not too sure what the problem is okay we'll, we're gonna fix these manually but the idea with these is that we're gonna store our science experiments in them and then we're gonna be able to bring them to earth so we're just gonna be able to bring more science yeah I, I think three is fine let's just fix the positioning there so just bring them up like this looks good
and okay looks fine to me so yeah that's the idea so we're probably so the idea is that we grab science three times and store it in these containers from all instruments and then we can do it like once more as well and just keep keep the uh, the data in the containers or in the instruments themselves and that's gonna be fine for us now we do need a science junior module somewhere and we're not gonna put it in there because there's no space okay, so we still gotta work out where to put the science junior which is not immediately obvious to me but we'll figure out where where it can go so for now though I'm thinking as well that we're gonna need RCS tanks and so maybe we need like another service bay although that may be overkill as well so I'll tell you what how does it look if we do if we do like a science junior module here surrounded by some RCS tanks We actually need a lot of them because we're gonna have a lot of okay maybe not that many How about something like that uh, it looks kind of ugly let's be real here let's be real it looks pretty ugly so I'll tell you what let's just for now we'll do like another service bay and I realize it may be a little bit ridiculous to do so. I mean, another option would be to just, let's say we just rework the service bay that we had there on top to be something like this. Hold on. What, what is wrong? Talk to me. What, what is your issue? I mean, why do you not just accept? Ah, God. It's fine. We'll do it manually. Go like this. So we could have that in the center, like this, and then... Just have the stuff around it. So the only issue, the only difference would be that the electric batteries would have to kind of go somewhere else. But that's not necessarily something bad. So we would just have, again, the three containers like this. Okay. No, don't go into the other thing. Okay. Well, a little bit misaligned. Can you. Oh my god. Our, oh god. Alright, looks like that's acceptable. Let's just move them up. Okay, so... We have that. And then we just need the other instrumentation. Here we go. We can even just put it there. And then we have these. We can actually strap all of these there, but I actually like them on the on the ground a little bit more. Just like this. Yeah, I do like that. And then we just need like somewhere where we can fit our batteries. We got these batteries that pack like more of a punch. So maybe we can just fit them there in the corner. Does it let us just pack 
couple of these on top of each other. Doesn't look like it likes it. Alright, let's take the thermometer and put it like here. And pack the battery there. And let's see. Okay, so the idea here is that we'll just kind of get rid of this service bay in favor of this one. I think it, it's better. So right now we only have 950 electric charge. We may want more. Is there a way we can actually pack this against the wall there? Or is that too crazy? Come on, buddy. You know you want to do it. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of ugly as fuck. But I can probably live with it. If I'm real with you. And I might even like be able to live with another one there. In fact, that orientation is a lot better, isn't it? So we just do it like this. All right. All of a sudden, got tons of electric power. All of our science is in this single service bay. We'll get this trash out of here. And we'll close. There you go. Okay, so we're just going to need some ladders to access these... Uh, in, a, in a nice way so we can just save for now okay so step one we have like our top it might be like the trickiest part to get together although I say that the, the actual rocket uh, balance and stuff might be pretty tough so I want to use these cool docking parts at some point but I don't I, yeah we'll, we'll see how, how that goes so let's think of our upper stage here. We need something to land with. So what rockets or what fuel tanks do we have? Okay, so for now we only have these. Something like this. I'm thinking because these are so fat, we maybe don't need the trilateral symmetry that we had. So maybe we can get away with just like a fat tank. Hold on. That's not properly. There you go. Well, of course, we need like the very upper stage to be re-entry friendly. So we're gonna do, um, gonna get one of the big heat shields we unlocked. Pop that under there, and of course, get a decoupler, Rocco Max decoupler, and then. Okay, so we're gonna have this tank. How much fuel does this have? A lot of fuel. So I think this has like the equivalent of all the upper stage with the trilateral symmetry that we had before. So then all we need would be an engine. So we have, let's see, we have the low profile. That gives us... 120 uh, kilonewtons thrust in the vacuum and then we have also the poodle which gives us more quite a bit more thrust it burns around twice as much um, around twice as much fuel as this does. I'm just trying to think whether or not this would be a good idea. I kind of like the poodle because I simply I don't want to have really really low thrust so we'll go with the poodle for now see how that works. Yeah so then we just need like some landing gear we unlocked new landing struts. I think these are it, aren't they? Um, yeah, I think those are the ones we had before. So we're gonna go like with four. Uh, 
well is that actually low enough it looks like the engine might be hmm looks like the engine is lower than that's annoying let's try with the low profile engine dude I don't know if this is gonna be strong enough to propel us is 0 0.72 We'll see. I guess we'll try it out. There's a decent chance it works anyways. And then for the upper stage, that would almost be it. We just need a couple extra things here. So we need some ladders. To access these containers and so on. So we're gonna just carefully place them hopefully this thing is actually okay let's do a snap there let's just make sure things are aligned and uh, yeah okay it's doing it on the other side as well just so our kerbals can grab this and then do science stuff without having to worry of you know about like, falling down and using RCS to stay up so that is taken care of we need some lights on this thing so let's go what do we want here we have a ton of electric power so I'm thinking we can go fancy here dude we can go like what do we want? We probably just want some normal large lights as well. Like this. Okay, but not like that though. Okay, like that. Uh, yeah, so I just realized our landing gear is not aligned. Okay, that looks better. Um, now, of course, the other thing we need is RCS thrusters. So before we forget again, let's do that. So I think four is a good number for RCS ports. Uh, wait, hold on. Take out the lights for a second. Because I think this is where the RCS has to go. And then the lights can just be kind of... It doesn't really matter if they're under the stairs. To be real. So, this is fine. Of course, we do need the actual RCS tanks. So, where would we put them? Hmm. Well, I don't really want to pack more things in there. I think that would just be ugly at this point. How about just kind of under here? Would that be okay? I think that's fine, honestly. Is it the prettiest? Maybe not. We're gonna roll with it for now. Again, we're gonna test this out. Maybe it doesn't work, but we'll have some fun trying it out. So that would be our upper, our upper stage right there. Let's just go with the next stage here. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have like a fat fuel tank. Something like this. How much fuel does this have? Quite a bit. And then like one of the big new engines we got. So, whoa, this is a lot of thrust. I kind of just have to try out this new giant badass <laughs> engine here. Uh, so we see our thrust to weight ratio is really high. We can probably uh, allow for more fuel. Like just go crazy like this. 2.5 is still a good thrust to weight ratio. 
So we close the service page. And then, yeah, I think this actually works. What I'll do as well, I'll pack some extra parachutes because we definitely don't want our service bay to to be destroyed in re in reentry. So we're gonna pack like two of these Hold on. on the sides, like that. Where is... I can't tell where the entrance of the capsule is. Okay, I think this is the actual side. Isn't it? Okay, wait, hold on. I really can't tell. <laughs> what about here? I don't know if this is... I think that is the entrance, so... Just put it down there. Does that work? Okay. Hopefully that works. Um, okay. So. So in theory, this will give us two thousand delta V. It's already pretty pretty good. So I think what we'll do here is just a an asparagus staging situation. So let's grab the radial decouplers. Okay, so just like this. I'm guessing kind of this height will be okay. And I mean, the other thing we could do is actually just try with the big twin bar engines we got. So like, instead of asparagus staging, we'd just go like this. This is a long rocket. <laughs> what is the weight of this thing? Damn, it's a lot of tons, okay. I mean, why not just give this a try, right? We just pack like some delta wings. I mean, <laughs> this just looks like a giant dildo, but you know, maybe it works. Maybe it works. So the other thing we would like to have is actually some lights aiming down let me go back quickly here ah, just drinking some water there gotta stay hydrated man so yeah let's maybe some spotlights like this where does it say like the intensity of the lights Oh, I'm guessing since this takes like a lot more electric charge, that means that it's a more powerful light. Maybe. Um, does this work out? Kind of does. Okay, I'd like to rotate them a little bit towards the ground. So these are for landing, strictly. Okay. That seems like a good balance. Okay. We're also gonna pack an antenna in case we want to transfer things. I don't anticipate that we will, but it's good to have it nonetheless. It looks like it's inside all right, well, we're gonna, we're just gonna think it's gonna be fine. And then we just pop some photovoltaic panels as well. Now, where do these go? Where can we put these? Obviously, we got our lights already. So maybe just take the lights down a bit. 
and we can try of course it's gonna be a bit tricky here so maybe we just do like one by one okay so we got two there we probably need more than that so where else can we put them can actually probably put them safely on the sides as well like that I think that's okay we could even try to pack like okay first off we can go like this and then maybe try even another set down there yes and then we go to action groups and we do an action group for all the panels and then we can also have an action group for science so log pressure data log temperature data and log seismic data and then also observe mystery goo and observe materials play so pressing one will like grab all the science which is good and then we can also maybe try to have another one for resetting our science equipment so we press 3 that should reset our instrumentation there so hopefully that works let's just close here alright um, yeah I don't know if this design is any good probably the asparagus staging is better than just having this bottom thruster there Let's just give it a shot. We'll do some field testing here. Uh, I forgot to check who's on board. We need a scientist on board. Who is... Okay, so we got Bob and Bill. Okay, so we got a scientist on board. We're fine. So we're gonna just try this. so good let's make sure our staging actually is set up properly start veering to the right a little bit or to the east I should say. Uh, I should have put some wings here maybe because when we ditch this we might have some aerodynamic problems we'll find out pretty soon here do these oh god okay I don't know what happened there with the staging I don't know if this has enough Delta V to take us into orbit I think it does So that's 70k. Turn on our RCS there. Um, I think we'll be fine actually looking at the numbers here. Alright, so let's start burning align ourselves with the horizon okay a little bit sloppy there one 
thousand delta V left, will it be enough to get into orbit? We certainly have the thrust. This engine is a beast of an engine. It does burn through fuel like crazy though. It actually does look like we don't have nearly enough fuel. Ooh, this looks really cool. We however don't have enough fuel in here. Like this is not a number I'm comfortable with. So I'll tell you what, let's go back to the design stage here. I think this is a little bit longer than I'm comfortable with. So let's try the asparagus staging approach. We'll pop uh, wings down there. Like this. And then we go up here and go bilateral. Okay, like this. And we probably grab like some of these. Okay, well, just make sure we're correctly there. Oh, I see the issue here. I just remove the wings for now. And then we just grab the swivels so we can turn. can use these cones. Looks pretty good. So we grab that. Try to place it in line with the others. Okay. I mean, this looks good. It actually looks way better than the, the lander we had previously. So let's give it a shot. Gonna need deluxe winglets. Okay, and now we remember to use the external fuel ducts. So this is going to be the internal fuel tanks there, and then going to do like this. Okay. So now let's check, make sure all the rockets are firing at the same time. We actually need the main sail to fire as well. And then that's actually the other way around. Uh, so these are the external ones. Okay, correct. Cool. So yeah, um, I don't know if this does a lot for us. It actually looks like it maybe doesn't doesn't look like we gain a lot of distance with this looks like we gain very little distance with this actually is it let's just go for a quick test here it, these numbers look very bad to me so you know, we could even like go crazy here and say, hey, give me like a twin bore on top of everything else. How does that look? Well, it does give us a little bit better. Just pack a lot of wings here. Like that. Let's try that out. Save here.
it doesn't look bad to be honest. It does look like a little bit disproportionately fat in this section compared to the bottom. But the bottom is just like something to get us off the ground, the way I see it. fuel tanks like crazy here but that should be fine but we gotta remember to, to get some inclination here So cut the throttle there, let's just speed up a bit. We got like 2000 Delta V in this tank, which looks very good on paper. And we certainly have the thrust in this stage as well, so I think we're in good shape. So we'll just start firing there. Keep a watch on the numbers, of course. It's just crazy how fast we burn through all this fuel. So what I'm thinking is that we're using our mainsail engine when we're mainly in the kind of basically in space and it's like that thrust maybe is a little bit wasted at this point because there's no atmosphere to worry about so it's possible that this is not the most efficient way to do it did get an orbit not a very good one but you know maybe it's good enough maybe so we would go like set us target and yeah, I mean, I don't think this is the final rocket design, but this is something that we could make work already. But I'll, I'll give it some more thought, and uh, I'll see you next episode. So as always, thanks for sticking with me, and I'll catch you next time.